Good morning, everyone. Many of you watched last video and started assembling your projects, screwing the handles together, putting some finish on. That's excellent. In the module, you will see an assignment on the completed project where you take some pictures of it all done and submit that for credit for finishing the project. And there's also some documentation. So check out the module and do those two assignments. Had to get another sheet of boxes made up. This one had all the parts on it, the standard shaped handle, the standard arch handle and the sides all fit onto one sheet. That was pretty cool. how it all fits together like that. So if you still need the pieces, we got that ready to go, but we're running out of time, only three days left, so we gotta stay on schedule. Many of you are already done or at the very last step, but those of you who are still sanding and needs to glue or assemble, today's the day, let's get that done. Now we'll take a minute and talk about what tools I think we should put in the toolbox. Okay, so the next tool that we wanna talk about is squares. You definitely need a square in your toolbox. A square is simply a tool that will tell you when something's at a designated angle. In this case, this one will only tell you 90 degrees, but it's usually, a, it's like a ruler, but with this little tail. So then you can put this on a piece of wood and get an accurate 90 degree measurement. Some of them have a, some of them are like this, where they have an adjustable part so that you can loosen up this set screw and um, set this to a certain distance. So let's say I wanted to put this at four inches, for example, put that on the side of the wood. I could put my pencil right here on the edge and I could draw a straight line all the way down and that would uh, give me an accurate four inch line all the way down 90 degrees from the edge. This also has a 45 degree angle tail on it so that I can set that to 45 degrees. It has a level, so you can, actually, you can put this all the way down at the bottom. So it's similar to this one. If it's all the way down at the bottom, flat. You can check if whatever you're resting on is level. And you can also take this, and in this case, you have this little thing out here to scribe a line, which is handy. But you often will need to measure if something is 90 degrees perpendicular from the edge to cut a nice straight line, or in some cases have a guide for a saw and that's where a square is super handy. Uh, again, inexpensive hand tool that needs to be in your toolbox. Have a square. Okay, so the next tool that I think everybody should have with them in their toolbox is a pry bar or a cat's paw. This is a trim pry bar that I have had for many years, 20 years? I've had this thing for 20 years. This is my personal one. These are great to have, they're inexpensive and they're really so critical. Having this nice flat end here in a pry bar to get between two pieces of wood and pry them apart. This end is like the back of a hammer. This, this is why it's called the, sometimes called a cat's paw, um, but it's, a, it's basically the back of a hammer. It's a little claw to get underneath and pull nails out. You can get good leverage on it. This gets, you know, allows you to get a nail under there, get good leverage on it. It also has a nice big flat area in the back. So <clears throat> if you have a, a nail that's buried into the piece of wood, you can put this on there, you can hammer it, and it will hammer into the wood and you can get under the nail and pull it out. Super useful to have pry bar or a cat's ball. There really aren't that many Good Morning videos left for me to share these, so I gotta try to get them in. And that will wrap it up for today, everybody. I will see you in class or the Google Meet. Remember, Morristown cares about you. I care about you. Be excellent to each other.